What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 75 of the Monday Night Wars Save. I, of course, am the infamous Chad Talks, and joining me, as always, is, of course, the sexy one himself, J Matt Gaming. Hello, everybody. Where is 370? Where is 370? That is the That's, question. That is really the question here. Where is 370? Well, let me tell you something, all right? We're going to find out where 370 is. All right, I'm on the case. Yeah, Chad is on the case. He is out there actively looking for this man. I'm 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 making uh I'm making signs. I'm gonna put them up all over the all over the uh, all over the world. All right, let's get into this Monday Night Raw. We've we've given him his shine, his five minutes yes. of fame. Let's get into this. Don't look. All right, in our first match of the night, we have. Ken Shamrock defeating Ray LaPon in 148 with an ankle lock. <laughs> Ray had a 13. He was really, he seemed off his game. I think he was just nervous. Probably. Um, that's, that may be, I'll, I'll chalk that up to nervousness. What a lemon. <laughs> we move on to Chad's main event, our old pre-show match, where... The Sultan and the Brooklyn Brawler defeat Kurgan and Recon in 758 when Sultan pins Kurgan, Kurgan with a big splash. Look at that. Sultan and Brooklyn Brawler have great chemistry. Where does it say that? It says they don't work well as a team. They work well as a team and their timing was impeccable. <laughs> the game don't lie. Make and him a test, team. In our pre-show main event, Bob Holly takes on Norman Smiley and Bob Holly wins. With a flying leg drop in five thirty-six, Chad, what do you got to say about this one? Um, I have to say that um, I don't really care about it. If I'm being honest with you. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, just basic match. Let's move on to Vince McMahon and Triple H in the middle of the ring. Uh, Vince, he's, he, you know, he tells Triple H he's got a lot of people pissed off at him backstage. <laughs> Including Shawn Michaels, The Undertaker, Kane, you know. All right. those guys are pissed off at Triple H. And he tells Triple H, you know, those three men, they want your ass. They want your ass beaten. They want they want it bad. They want your ass beaten bad. So They I'm want like, your big fat stupid nose punched in. Not my nose. Uh. Listen, um, uh, that's going too far. So I'm um, uh, I'm going to make a three-on-one handicap match for the main event tonight. And unless unless you can find two tag team partners, it will it will stay a three-on-one handicap match. So right now, those three men are going to kick Triple H's, Triple H's ass later tonight for being a bitch. Oh, man, I wonder who he's going to call to be his tag team partners. Uh, Brooklyn Brawler and Sultan. They, have they, they, do, they do have impeccable timing. We move on to our opening, a light heavyweight match. Not really light heavyweight, because you can't really call Godfather a light heavyweight anymore. Um, and about had decent wrestling, but little heat. Two Cold Scorpio, Taco Michinoku, and Aguila defeat the Funk Boys in 854 when Two Cold Scorpio pins Kid Cash me outside. How about that? With a tumbleweed. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me laugh every time I read it. Um, Two Cold Scorpio had to get his win back from last night. And Scotty Too Funky, I know he's the new light heavyweight champion, but he didn't take the pin. He didn't so. take the pin. We move on to a backstage where Edge and Christian they come up to Vader and Ken Shamrock and they're like, "Look, we've proved ourselves since the last time we got a title match. Can we get a one on or two on two tag team match for the belts at some point this this month?" And and Vader and Ken are like, "You're right." They stop. They stop whatever they're doing. Chad, what were they doing? Well, I'm glad you asked what they were doing. You see, Vader was just showing off Ken Shamrock, uh, his new tattoo of him, and then, uh, and then while he was in the midst of showing that epic tattoo, um, Ken Shamrock said, "You know, I got something for you too." And then Shamrock said, "Oh, what is it, buddy?" And then Ken Shamrock takes off his shirt, and his nipples are Vader-themed nipple piercings. <laughs> So they were comparing tattoos and nipple piercings when they were interrupted by Edge and Christian. All right, and they're like, "All right, put your nipple piercings away. <laughs> we want gold and not the one in your nipples." 
<laughs> we want them. We want those belts. And Vader and Ken Shamrock, they look at each other. They stare in each other's eyes. And Ed's just like, yo, stop staring in each other's eyes. Listen to us. I got lost in Ken Shamrock's hazel beauties. <laughs> sure. Uh, SummerSlam, fuck it. Uh, us versus you guys for the belts. You guys have proved yourselves the last few months. We'll give it to you guys. So Edge and Christian versus the best friends. And then the Vader's like, all right, fuck it. Let's, uh, the blondie over there. Me and you in the <laughs> ring right now, damn it. You, you interrupted me and Ken Shamrock's private time. I'm going to beat your ass. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So we get Edge and Vader. <laughs> um, and about that, I great wrestling and decent reaction, reaction from the crowd. Edge defeated Vader in a 10-36 of the roll-up. So Edge, oh, man. Edge steals a victory. Yeah, but their, time, their, their chemistry is horrible. Oh, they got pretty good chemistry, and it lifted the match. Not as good as uh, Brawler and Sultan, though. You're right. I know. And then after the match, Vader's pissed off. His nipple rings are fucking broken. He had the tattoo. Oh, he had the tattoo? Yeah, he had the tattoo. Remember, he had the Ken Shamrock tattoo. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I, I don't know why Vader would have this. K-Fabe, brother. His tattoo's all smeared. <laughs> He, he just lost to this skinny white boy, and he's going to beat him up. So he uh, Vader bombs him. Bam! <laughs> we move on to backstage where Stone Cold Steve Austin is having a coffee and donut with Sergeant <laughs> Slaughter. Damn, Sergeant Donut's really good. <laughs> pass me one of them Krispy Kreme, Sarge. <laughs> uh, Steve, can you pass me a, a, a donut? What? Can you pass what? Me a donut? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> How about you pass me one of them beers? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Slaughter's having a donut with beer. Stone Cold's having donut with uh, or Slaughter's having donut and coffee. <laughs> yeah, and Stone Steve Cold's Austin's got beer. And then uh, they're just re relaxing, and then Owen Hart out of nowhere fucking lays out Stone Cold with his uh, his Intercontinental Championship. Steve Austin's and then, belt. And then steals his donut. And then steals his donut, bites it, and then... No, he bites it. He takes a bite, right? And spits it all out on Stone Cold's oh, unconscious face. What a face. waste of a Krispy Kreme. What a heel. What? Of all the things to do. Then we move on to Ahmed Johnson and Roddy Piper. Well, guys, <laughs> this, this match has some storyline behind it. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah, it does. Um, Ahmed Johnson's contract is running uh, up, and after I offered him a contract, WCW offered him a bigger contract. So, so you might be seeing Ahmed Johnson on WCW, brother. He's not a bit. This is not as big as a bidding war as Hulk Hogan, but uh, but Ahmed Johnson goes over clean over the guy who couldn't cut it in WCW, just to show everyone here at WWF that WCW is fucking ass. Yeah, thank you for getting us a win over a future Hall of Famer. I'll remember that when he comes in. <laughs> um, he beats him in 11-11 with a spine buster. And then Ahmed Johnson grabs the mic and shoots on WCW. He says, I'll, I'll tell you what he says. No, he says, you can't tell I just want to say how great WCW is. I'm shooting right now. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> Fuck this place. <laughs> oh, right, something like that? Fuck off. <laughs> Eat my ass. What, what does he say? What does he say then? Um, he says, uh, WCW, you have to rely on former WWF guys to make it bigger. Make it big. Without Bret Hart, without Hollywood Hulk Hogan, without Kevin Nash, without Scott Hall, you guys would be nothing. And I don't know, I don't know if I want to come over there. But then again, money talks. <laughs> and, 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 but I can't leave my best friend Tim White here. <laughs> I can't leave my best friend Tim White. <laughs> Is that why Tim White's a package deal? Uh, no. Oh. We move back. We move uh, commercial. And then Sean Stasiak and Bam Bam Bigelow are in the ring. They're talking. They're like, look. We took out 
<laughs> or at least uh, me, Sean Stasiak, the perfect 10, took out um, Mankind. Okay? There's no, no one can take me out. I'm the best. I'm the perfect package. And then out comes Jeff Jarrett, who got a big win over Owen Hart last night at Folder Loaded. He certainly did. And the feud that Chad brought. And Jeff Jarrett's like, yeehaw! <laughs> yeehaw, you motherfucker! <laughs> Sean Stasiak. I proved myself last night. So did you. Bam, bam, get the fuck out of here. You lost. <laughs> and tonight, you're going to lose again. And tonight, you're going to lose again. And then at SummerSlam, Stasiak... I'm going to take that damn belt with your face on it. <laughs> and I'm going to use it as a piss mat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use it to shine my guitar. Yeehaw! I'm going to pick up my dog's shit with it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, and then I'm going to take that shit and I'm going to make my own company with it. <laughs> uh, okay. And then the other match. Uh, and we had a, about that a great wrestling and good heat. Jeff Jarrett defeated Bam Bam in thirteen fifteen with a submission with a figure four leg lock. Woo! Woo! Make that son of a bitch tap out. Oh yeah, tap out for daddy. Oh, Woo! I forgot about this match, and I'm a decent match. Farouk defeated Hawk in nine oh six. Oh man. <laughs> Hawk's really going down the hill. He might he might start doing drugs after this. Oh, no. And then our main event, and about that, it's a pro wrestling and great heat. Triple H and his newly found tag team partners, the New Age Outlaws. Who would have thought? Were they really, were they really that newly found? <laughs> <laughs> he probably walks to the back and said, you guys heard that, right? <laughs> yeah, we got you. All right, cool. Let's go get some coffee. <laughs> they defeated The Undertaker, Kane, and Shawn Michaels in 1824 when Triple H defeats Kane with a pedigree. Kane, you dig it. Can you dig it? Kane and Paul Bearer have pretty damn good chemistry, I guess. Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, Shawn Michaels is just gimmicks getting stale. Okay, I'll have to change that. Um, but after the match, Kane, after taking the pinfall, looks at Shawn Michaels. He kips up. You know, he does the little fucking shit, the, the, the sit up thingy. Looks at Shawn. And Shawn's like, Kane, are you right? And he grabs his throat, and he's like, I'm not finished with you yet, boy. <laughs> I didn't forget about those last few months that you beat my ass every night with Triple H. And then chokeslam Shawn Michaels. Oh, man. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? And that's the end of the show. An A, 89. Wow, an A show. An A show. Man, you know what, you know what did it? Takamich Noku getting a win. No, it was that tag team of the Brooklyn Brawler and the Sultan. <laughs> Look, I had one segment under a 75. I'll take it. Not bad. Not bad. All right. that's That was that was a good one. It was a good episode to record. That was a good one. That was a, that was a, fun, that was a fun Raw to book. We were booking it, and Chad's like, this is a weird Raw. <laughs> it was a little weird. It still is a little weird. But it got you an A. So. What are you talking about? What's weird about it? We're building storylines. I know it, you are. I don't know. I just. I, I think. I think Ahmed, Ahmed Johnson just getting promo time is weird <laughs> to me. Like, just something I'm not used to. Well, get used to it, brother. When he's gonna shoot on WCW every week. Oh, I'll get used to it. He's gonna. He's, he's gonna, gonna be. A, he's gonna, gonna, gonna be my main show. promo guy on Nitro. Ahmed and Tim White talk show. I'm gonna rename him something ridiculous. It's gonna be great. Rename, I'm gonna re rename. I'm gonna rename Tim White. I'm gonna re I'm gonna rename him Farouk. Oh no! All right, that was episode seventy-five, guys. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and we'll see you for episode seventy-six. WCW. Chad. Yes, friend. Fuck Cody Rhodes. <laughs>